If you're watching this video, more than likely you're a homeowner. And if you're a homeowner who's thinking about making a move and thinking, should I keep my current house and rent it or should I sell it? You want to think about the tax implications. Two is the magic number that you want to hit first because you have to live there for two years as your primary residence. That's right. So if you've lived in a house as your primary residence for two of the last five years, most people are going to qualify for an exemption from paying taxes on the gain. Typically, it's either $250,000 for a single person or $500,000 for a married couple. So you sell your house, you're a married couple, you made $500,000, you get to take that money, buy the next house, or do really whatever you want with it. In most cases, that's going to be tax-free. But if you take the house and convert it into a rental property, now you're in a different category. The next magic number is five, five years. And that five years is important because in order to qualify for the exemption, Usually you have to live in your house for two of the last five years. Now you have not lived in the house for two of the last five years, you may need to pay capital gains taxes. And that can be between 15 and 20% depending on your income bracket. And instead of having $500,000 in your pocket, now you've got to pay Uncle Sam. Can you afford to do that? Sometimes selling is a good option because you can take the proceeds from the sale and still put them into another property and they continue to appreciate. But if you can afford to keep the other property, that also can make sense because now you have an asset that's gonna keep appreciating and keep bringing you cash flow. While someone else is paying the mortgage. Exactly.